Hello everybody and welcome to How to Play Minecraft. How to Survive in Minecraft. I think I'm gonna call it How to Survive in Minecraft. Alright, so this is going to be a tutorial if you don't know how to play Minecraft. I've been playing Minecraft for a long time, so I figured, you know, some of the people who are still new, you know, I could teach them how to play. So, the first thing that you want to do when you load up is you get into here. Alright, you type in your username and password, click login, and you get here. So what you want to do is you want to hit single player. Now, I already have some worlds. This will be empty. None of these will be here. So you want to click Create New World. Now, there's three different options. Survival, Hardcore, Creative. I would not suggest doing Hardcore. Um, creative is, you know, you get unlimited stuff. And Survival, that's the one that we're going to be going with. So, we're going to be calling this Tut World. Okay. And in the More World options, you can... Uh, I would keep this, I'm going to keep this as is. Bonus chest, if this is your first time, you might actually want to turn that on. I'm going to turn that on, actually. I'm going to allow cheats as well, just because I'm going to be cheating, but you guys, you know, you might want to. I wouldn't really recommend it, but, you know, default, generate structures, done. Okay, so you're going to want to click create new world. <coughs> Alright, so, once you get here, um, I'm going to quickly go over the all right so as you notice there's a chest here um let me go over the commands really quickly okay so the commands you can use your mouse to turn to see where you're looking okay you can change the sensitivity of that right here i'm going to be playing a normal you can change this to make it more sensitive or less sensitive okay <clears throat> you can um you can use your scroll wheel if you see that little highlight here let me grab a few items um so I grabbed a few items down here. As you can see, I use my scroll wheel to switch between them. Now I can only switch one at a time. Whereas if I use my number pad, the, the, the keys on the um, top of my keyboard, I can switch to any number of them. Okay. Um, okay. So, um, <clears throat> you can use escape to get out of your inventory, or you can just press E, or you can use escape to bring up this menu. This will bring up, you know, all of these things so that you can quit the game, go back to the game, you can just look at your achievements, statistics, options, and you can open the world to land so you can play with friends that are at your house. <clears throat> um, this also pauses the game only when it's in single player. Okay, so now you can use um, you can use F1 to toggle the HUD. Now that's heads up display. So if you press F1, and it's still open your inventory and escape and stuff, but this is for if you want to take a picture, you want it to look nice, you know, whatever. You can toggle that. Um, <clears throat> uh, there's also screenshot. If you press F2, then it'll save a screenshot to um, <clears throat> to your wherever you installed Minecraft to. Um, if you press F3, you can get debug info. But um, most importantly, if you're on a server, you can see up there it says. Um, X negative um, 1.9, Y 74, Z 297. Now, as you can see, when I move, those numbers move. So if you want to meet up with your friend on a uh, on a server, you can uh, go and both walk to the same to the, uh, the same place, meet each other. <coughs> um, I'm going to turn that off and use. Um, also, you press Shift and F3 at the same time to bring up that, which you, again you don't really need. That's debugging information. Um, now you can press F5 to switch between third person, um, uh, trimented, I think it's called third person. This is if you want to like do you know, maybe F1, you know, get some video, whatever. Okay, then you can switch there. <coughs> okay, then there's um, F8. Okay, so F8, as you can see now, my it's very smooth. It's called mouse smoothing. So you can maybe press F1 if you want to do like say, oh, this is my world. Uh compared to this is my world uh looks much better the first way right okay so you might want to do that if you're doing video or something then you can use left the left alt button okay or the um <clears throat> or f10 or if you're on and um that will that doesn't work on um apple that only works on windows so um, there's also a glitch that you can press Alt if you're pressing like W while you press Alt. 
then you can get it to hold W. I'm not actually pressing W right now, but it's still moving. So yeah, that's a little glitch for you. Um, nothing that they can really do to fix that though. <clears throat> okay, so let me tell you about what this actually does. It focuses on the icon of the window and freezes all of Minecraft's processes, thus stopping setting the location of the mouse to the center of the window and letting the cursor become visible, although the cursor bounds stay the same. This allows you to sync twice before taking a screenshot. Holding a movement key, then toggling this on and off again will make that key stuck on, even though, even if it is let go. Pressing the same movement key again will stop it. Okay, F11 toggles full screen. I'm not actually going to hit it because it lags a little bit, but it'll make it so that, you know, you don't see the border above, you know, you know, for like the window. Any window has the border. Okay. <coughs> um... Shift. Um, shift is a very special key. Shift can do many things. When the inventory is open, Shift plus clicking on an item or stack moves it between the inventory and the hotbar. So this is considered your inventory, these three, and the bottom is considered your hotbar. So this will move it between the two. Okay. Always bring it to the first from the left. Okay. <clears throat> when a chest is open, Shift clicking on the item will move the entire stack between the chest and the inventory. So, as you can see here, I can hold, I'm can i holding shift right now, and I can switch between the two. Okay. <clears throat> when a furnace is open, shift and clicking on the item of the stack will, of the, in the furnace moves it into the inventory, and shift clicking <clears throat> an item or stack in the inventory moves it to the item, not fuel, slot of the furnace. When crafting, shift shift clicking the crafted item automatically crafts the maximum number of that item for the material being used and moves all crafted items to the inventory in the survival inventory tab of the creative inventory shift plus left click on the red delete field clears the whole inventory when in the multiplayer server selection menu shift plus up and shift plus down moves the server name to the specific position <coughs> okay <clears throat> so that's a little bit a lot to uh, to think about, but you, you don't really need to know most of that. Okay. <clears throat> Anyways, now, this uh, mouse 1, that's your left mouse button. Um, that is used to punch or destroy blocks if you hold it down. Now remember, you have to hold down the button. You can't just press it. You can't just press it once or else, you know, you'll never break anything. <clears throat> Okay, now you can attack to click once if you're like attacking like a skeleton or something or you know any mobs. I'll talk about those in a, you know not in a minute, but like later. Um, <clears throat> you can split a stack evenly, hold and drag, sort loose items into one stack by double clicking. So for example, say that I have four oak wood, I can hold um, <clears throat> I can hold my left click and split these evenly between however many you know, I have. Or, if I want, instead of going, like, instead of clicking each one, I can double-click on one and bring it all into one stack. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> now, mouse 2. That places blocks. So, as you can see here, you have to hover over the block when you're placing it. So you just place it, and then in order to break it, you hold down um, the mouse button. <clears throat> um, so that will place one item from a stack in each inventory slot. <clears throat> so, if so for example if I wanted to put one if I wanted to put two there I could do that but still have two in this stack that'll evenly distribute one there and then you know I want two there okay <clears throat> um, <clears throat> toggle it switches doors and levers if you click once you can fire with a bow by holding it block using a sword use special blocks like chests doors and switches enter vehicles so I can you know open this chest using my right click or mouse two. <clears throat> um, if you eat food, you, you can eat food, hoe farmland, shear sheep. Commonly, if both the item held and the block clicked on has a such perfect, like trying to place a dirt block on a chest, the block will override the item. This also means that the player can punch an entity while eating slash drinking. However, the eating slash drinking will, will reset when a player presses button one. <clears throat> Um, now there is a way to get around that. If you hold shift, then you can do that. Um, but if you're not holding shift, even if I have the block in my hand, then it'll do this. Oh, shifting will also sneak so that 
<coughs> um, I can't fall off edges. Um, <coughs> Alright, middle mouse. So switch to the block currently looked at, as long as it is in the hotbar. In creative mode, if the block is not in, in the hotbar, replaces the currently active hotbar slot with the block currently looked at. However, if the chosen block is one that drops a non-block resource when destroyed, example, certain ores, glowstone, and occasionally gravel blocks, <clears throat> you will end up with whatever the resource of that block is. Clicking on a mob will give you that mob spawn egg if there is one. Clicking on a painting, minecart, with or without chest or furnace, or boat will give the corresponding item. However, over an item, hovering over an item um, in an inventory and clicking with the mouse wheel when creative gives the maximum stack of that item. So that's a little bit to you know to go through. Say I have a dirt block, right? And then it's in my it's in my um, hotbar. Then I middle mouse button. It does nothing <laughs> because I'm not in creative mode. And it doesn't do anything if you're not in creative mode, basically. But um, anyways, in order to move around, I use W to go forward, A to go left, D to go right, and S to go backwards. W, A, S, D, like in any game. <clears throat> um, I can use space to jump. If I want to jump up one block height, I can do that by pressing space. <clears throat> I can also fly and fly up if I'm in creative mode. Then you double press space to start flying, and then you hold space to ascend or go up. <coughs> um, e will open my inventory, which is this screen that I've been showing you like a million times. <coughs> um, Q will drop the item in my hand. So this item, say that I don't want it, there are two ways I can do stuff. I can drag it off the screen, or I can just press Q and get rid of it. Um, <coughs> T will open up chat and commands. So if I press the T button, then this will open up you know, these are my recent commands, and I can also type things to my friends if I'm on a server, or I can do commands, such as time set day, which is a command, but I'm not going to teach you guys commands because there's a lot of them. <coughs> but time set day, if you have it on cheats, will bring the sun back to there, which can be pretty useful, but it's also cheating, so don't do it. <laughs> um... <coughs> If you press the slash button, that will open up the chat window with the slash already typed, so you don't have to press T then slash, you just press slash. I guess that would be sort of useful. <coughs> um, now tab. In multiplayer, you can hold the tab key to see a list of players. When in the chat window, tab cycles through possible commands or arguments. So say I wanted to do time set. Now if I press tab, it'll do day or night. So those are the two times that I can set it to. I can set it to night, or I can set it to, if I do this, I can set it to day. Those are the two things that I can set it to. <coughs> so that's pretty much it for the commands. Now we move on to the next segment. <laughs>